hello everyone welcome to my channel so today i'll be showing you how to make chapati so chapati is a flatbread that is usually make made here in kenya and it's a very special type of bread because you can eat it with anything so today i decided to add a little twist by adding pumpkin so I'll, the first thing i'll do is put this pumpkin into the boiling water so that it can be able to be well cooked and then i'll be able to mash it so stay tuned to this video so that you can be able to enjoy this video so don't also forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can be able to watch more amazing cooking videos so i leave the pumpkin to first boil and then it will be well cooked so that we can continue to this video i hope you enjoy So guys, the pumpkin is well cooked, so I'm just going to remove it from the fire. guys our pumpkin is ready so what I'm going to do I'm going to add half a glass of water also I have uh, a teaspoon of salt okay I'm just going to mix it As you can see, it's thick enough. So what I'm going to do now, we start adding the flour so that we can start mixing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my hand to now knead the dough.
Now your dough is ready once you see even your mixing bowl is clean enough. So I'm going to cover it and leave it to rest for around 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'll get back to it. So guys, it's been 30 minutes plus since our dough has been able to rest. So I'm going to remove it and then I can roll it here. I'm going to divide into four equal parts. I'm going to put this aside and then bring this one here and we can start rolling them. Okay. Also going to dust this other board so that you can be able to push them on this side so I'm adding a little flour not flour <laughs> this is cooking oil going to roll it. So this small one I can mix with this one. It forms a nice round shape.
one day our chapati has been resting for around 10 to 15 minutes so with me here I have a paper towel that I've put here so after putting in the fire I put it inside here this paper towel will assist in reducing a lot of oil and I have this piece of cloth after removing from the fire I'll be closing it so that it can keep our chapati still warm okay so we can continue rolling as we put it in the fire Before putting oil in the chapati, you first make sure that you turn it over so this other side can also be able to get heat. So after turning it on one side, now we can put oil.
this one is well done so we can put it aside and then we continue with this one chapati is ready so we can take a look at it as you can see it is well cooked it has a, such a nice color and you can see it has so many layers okay you see it's these layers they it's like a pocket okay you see so this one is because of the the way we were rolling it will make the chapati have many soft layers as you can see all of them they are very nice you can just so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and kindly don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section i'll be happy to hear from you so don't forget also to subscribe to this channel for more amazing cooking videos thank you and bye bye